Hi everybody! Welcome back for the next chapter of Hour of the Olympics by one of our favorite authors, and you all know her name. Alright, this is chapter four, and it's called Not Fair. And I asked you guys to try and guess what was not fair, what you thought might not be fair. So let's see if what you guessed is what is happening in the book. All right. The young woman smiled at Jack and Annie. How did you learn to read and write? Annie asked. I taught myself, the woman answered. She wrote a poem and brought it to me, said Plato, because I have written and told people that I think Greek girls should go to school and learn things. Is that a poem, said Jack? and he pointed to the poet's scroll. Yes, said the young woman. It's a wonderful story, said Plato, but she will get in trouble if it is read in our land. You must take it back to your far away home where it will be safe. All right, there is Jack and Annie and the poet. The poet handed Jack her scroll. He put it into his bag. Tell us your name, said Annie, so we can tell people who wrote the story. The young woman shook her head. I cannot, she said. When she saw Annie's sad face, she added, you can tell people it was written by Anonymous. That's your name, asked Annie. No, Anonymous means that no one knows who wrote it, said Plato. But that's not true, said Annie. I'm afraid the risk is too great, said Plato. Annie looked back at the woman. I'm sorry, said Annie. It's not fair, not at all. The poet smiled at her. I'm happy that you will take my story to your country, she said. Perhaps someday women everywhere will write books just like men. They will, said Jack. I promise. The young woman looked at him, puzzled. It's true, said Annie. Thank you, Annie, the young woman said, and thank you, Jack. She bowed and then hurried out of the courtyard. Wait, said Annie. She started to go after the poet, but Plato stopped her. Come along, he said. The games will start soon. Plato then led Jack and Annie out of the Greek house, back onto the dirt road. Girls can't write stories, grumbled Annie. They can't go to school. They can't be in plays. I've had enough of ancient Greece. Let's get out of here. Wait, said Jack. What about the Olympics? Oh, yes, yeah, said Annie. Her eyes got brighter. I almost forgot. Well, said Plato slowly, I would like to take you both to the games. I have special seats in the viewing box. However... He looked at Annie. Don't tell me, she said. Girls can't go to the Olympics either. Plato shook his head. A girl will get in terrible trouble if she goes to the games, he said. Annie sighed. It's really, really not fair, she said. I'm sorry, said Plato. My country is a democracy. We believe in freedom for our citizens. But I'm afraid right now that only means men. Annie's right. It's not fair, said Jack. I think we should go home now. No, Jack, you go to the Olympics, said Annie. At least you can tell me about it. Take notes. What about you, Jack said. I'll go to that play at the outdoor theater, Annie said. Meet me there when you're done. Jack didn't want to leave Annie alone, but he also didn't want to miss the Olympics. Go, have fun, Annie said. She began walking away. I'll see you later. Bye, Plato. Bye, Annie, said Plato. Annie turned back again and waved. I'll tell you all about it, Jack called. This way, said Plato. He and Jack turned and joined the crowd heading toward the Olympic Games. Wow, there were a lot of things in that chapter that weren't fair. Were any of them the things that you guessed? All right, well, the next chapter is chapter five, and it is called Hi, Zeus. That one is a tougher one to guess what might happen, but if you want to take a guess about what Hi, Zeus might mean, please do.
I'll see you tomorrow.